Good afternoon. My name is Darren Wallentine. I'm with the Tucson Fire Department. We're here at FDIC 2019, and we're here to show you our new ladder truck, Ladder 1, that we're going to be uh, having delivered to Tucson hopefully in the next couple weeks. So I'm going to take you around the truck and show you some of the features and some of the things that we've asked for uh, when we've gone out and spec'd this new platform that we're going to be delivered by Pierce. So special thanks to Pierce and to Hughes for all the work that they've done for this truck. So the Velocity cab on this new platform, it's larger, it's wider, it also has safety features which include a airbag system, airbags that are not only in the front for the driver, but also on the sides and up in the, uh, the headliner as well. So when we come back to the firefighter's compartment, in addition to the larger space, we also went with the vinyl seats, something that with the clean cab concept that we're able to decontaminate if in fact there are products of combustion that we need to clean off of the, uh, the seats. We've retained the air packs in the seats that are rear facing, but we've also provided these front facing seats that are a little more comfortable and uh, when they're not in need of sitting in the other seats that, uh, that it's a little more comfortable for them riding forward. We have also have some additional space that's within the compartment for storage and that is also uh, by design all the way around the truck that we've got extra storage compartments for the equipment that we need to carry. Ladder one is gonna be going to Fire Central. That's our fire headquarters, that's our station one. That's where our hazmat team is also located. So this apparatus is also designed that can support our hazmat operations as well as our high rise operations in the downtown area of Tucson. Also with technical rescue and swift water rescue that we face in the monsoonal uh, storms that come through Tucson during the summer times. So what's important also about this is to know that with Tucson Delivers, the half cent sales tax for the city of Tucson, we were able to purchase this vehicle based on that, that sales tax that the uh, citizens of Tucson were very, very generous with, uh, with what they've provided. So when we began to spec out this truck, there was additional safety features that I know were brought into the conversation. One of which is we have side cameras so that we can see from the cab. We also have a camera that's gonna be on the back. It's not gonna take away from needing a backer, but it's definitely an added safety feature that we were looking for. Also, when we start looking at the aerial for, our, for the aerial itself, we've added LED lights that can actually not only illuminate, but also give indications of where you are when you are climbing the ladder, if in fact you need to climb it. So there's a green, a yellow, and a red section. So it should give you a little better idea of what your position is while you're climbing in the event that, uh, that light is limited. So in today's fire service, it's, it's difficult sometimes to find all the space that you need to put all the equipment that we're carrying and especially being a downtown station that is our hazmat team, we also need to be able to have the equipment that's necessary for them to respond to those emergencies. So we've paid particular attention to making sure that we have enough compartment space for the equipment that we're gonna be carrying on this ladder truck for ladder operations, technical rescue, and the hazmat team. This 100 foot platform aerial is gonna be replacing our current aerial that's at station one. As you see, up the aerial, we have the LED lights that are colored, the green, the yellow, and the red. We've designed the bucket to be a little bit larger so that we can accommodate our personnel who are gonna be in their full turnouts. I believe it's rated up to 1,000 pounds within the bucket, and uh, that's gonna provide the opportunities for our personnel to do their work while they're uh, in the bucket, half, whether the aerial is flowing water or using it for a rescue. So on most of our specs for our ladder trucks, we're gonna carry the full complement of our ground ladders and other tools that's, uh, that's located here at the rear of the truck. So another safety feature and another benefit for the engineer that's gonna be assigned to this ladder truck are cameras that for the outrigger placement will not only be able to be viewed from within the cab, but there's also a laser that will actually illuminate the spot on the ground so that they can make sure that when they're putting the outriggers out, they're not putting it onto a surface that's not level or on a manhole cover or some other place that would be unsafe to put this outrigger into proper placement. And as far as the additional storage goes, trying to maximize our space, 
It's a place where we can attach some of our equipment, axes, other tools, allows us to be more flexible in being able to add all of the equipment that we need to within the apparatus. So when we started to spec this truck out, we included a 300 gallon tank, we have a 1500 GPM pump, and we have a 8 kilowatt hydraulic generator to operate lights and other equipment that's included on this truck. Another unique feature about this truck is that we wanted to keep it down below 12 feet. So we actually had the cab designed and customized so that it kept it, so it's cut in a way that keeps the ladder itself under that 12 foot mark. That way we have a little bit more clearance when we start talking about underpasses, overpasses, things of that nature that we encounter in Tucson. So I just want to say a huge thanks to Pierce, to Chris Callies from Hughes. None of this would have been possible without their involvement and their partnership with the city of Tucson. Tucson Delivers is what's making this possible. So the funding to buy an apparatus of this type to provide safety to our, to our people of Tucson, the safety to the firefighters from the city of Tucson, this has all been a huge partnership, and we could not have done it without all of them. So thank you so much. We love it here in Indianapolis at FDIC 2019. And thank you, Pierce, for making our ladder truck the centerpiece for this tremendous display. Thank you so much. Have a good one.